guys, it's Sarah. Yes, I'm in my bedroom again. I took a break from college for a couple of days and I'm just here for the weekend until Sunday night and then I'm gonna go back. So that's why I'm here. Also in college, there's like no time to make videos and it's kind of weird making videos when everybody's around. So that's why I'm glad to be back home by myself where I can actually just be by myself and make a Larry video. So nothing's really happening in the fandom right now in terms of Larry or One Direction because they're like on a week break, blah, blah, blah. So what I thought is, you know, let's just take a quiz. Let's just take a Larry quiz. Let's just be happy and get rid of all the drama. So I want to take which Larry tweet are you? There's many Larry quizzes out there, but this one is a recent one. And and I'm gonna take it. Oh my gosh, random ad, random music, what is happening? I love when random music pops out of nowhere and scares the shit out of me. Question one, the most romantic city is Paris, Venice, or New York? Definitely not New York. It depends if you're talking about New York City or not. I live in New York. And to be honest, what's flattering about it, I don't know. I don't live in the city. I live in, like, the rural part. I'm going to have to say Paris, though, because, I mean, come on, it's Paris. Like, no explanation there. The perfect date is on the beach, at the cinema, or at home. Well, definitely not at home because I'm always at home and it's pretty boring here and I just don't know why home would be the first place you would want to date. Don't you want it someplace different? Um, the beach, I personally, I don't like the beach because <laughs> I hate the sand, I hate the water, I hate the things in the water. And it's just not a great time. It's windy, your hair gets in your face, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to say the cinema because there's always something going on there. And, you know, it's, it's great. So at the cinema. Your favorite love song is Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran, 18 by One Direction, or I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. I will always pick 18 by One Direction. So I'm going to pick that song because it's mainly about Larry and it's just a great song. Sorry, Ed Sheeran. Sorry, Whitney Houston. Your favorite love book is The Fall in Our Stars. Oh, oh my God. The Notebook. Oh, oh my God. And Pride and Prejudice. Oh my God. Okay, so basically I have never read these books, but I have watched The Fault in Our Stars and that's a teardropper. The Notebook is more of a teardropper. <laughs> and I've, I don't, I've don't, never read that. So I'm gonna go with something recent, The Fault in Our Stars. Your favorite love movie is Titanic, Dear John, Nothing Hill. Okay, I've never heard of Dear John or Nothing Hill. Sorry for anybody who has seen those movies. I'm very sorry, but I've never seen it. So I'm gonna go with Titanic. Oh my gosh, guys, I got always in my heart at Harry Styles. Yours sincerely, Louie. You mean the one that almost has 2 million retweets and the one that has 500,000 freaking favorites? Oh my god! I got the most beautiful Larry tweet ever. Like, all of Louie and Harry's tweets are beautiful because it's just, it's Larry, but this is the tweet that is just, that people are getting tattooed on their foreheads, that people are literally getting pasted on their shirts. Like, this is the tweet that everyone knows about. I am this tweet. And the fact that I am this tweet, I am Jesus and I should be praised. So tell me if you want me to do more of these quizzes and also like and subscribe to see more of my crap every week. And I will see you guys later. Bye.